guys, Tyler Hooks here with Techno RC, and we are here to talk about a new option part for the EB410 and the EB410.2, as well as the ET410. And it's actually a standard part on the ET410.2, and that's gonna be these new Techno TKR6553X um, spindles. And these spindles, um, for the first time ever on any of our cars, give you the use of multiple different Ackerman plates. So right here, I have all four of these different Ackerman plates. They are 6669A through D. And what these do is just basically give you different Ackerman options. So uh, D is going to be the most amount of Ackerman, and then A is gonna be the least, and so on and so forth in between. And basically when you compare these to our original spindles that had the Ackerman built into the spindle itself, those had more Ackerman than D did. So these give you the option to have much less Ackerman all the way up to about the same when you use the D plate. And basically the thought process and the philosophy is that when you take the Ackerman away, um, what we found with our geometry on the car and through testing with eight scale and through testing with the 10 scale cars is that when you take some of that Ackerman away, it makes the car a little bit less aggressive on entry and exit and it gives you way more usable steering through the center of the corner. Um, and that's just gonna make the car overall easier to drive, whether you're driving the Truggy or you're driving the Buggy. Um, so we were really excited to release these with the truck, but we wanted to make sure that everybody knew that this was something that works really, really well with the buggy. And we actually greatly recommend you guys putting them on your cars and giving them a shot for yourself. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of extra information on maybe where to start, depending on what car you have and uh, what you might like. So we're actually recommending that you start with these new spindles with the A plate, which is the shortest plate um, on your buggy. Um, so all of the spindles, all the plates work with all of the caster blocks um, and, you know, the universals or CVDs or whatever you would like to use on the buggy and the truggy. So basically that A is going to make it the least amount of Ackerman um, that we could we can offer. Um, and that's just going to make the car so much easier to drive. Um, you're going to have more corner speed. Um, and it's basically everything that we kind of felt like we were lacking um, if we could ask anything more of the car. It was just we wanted to get a better steering feel. Um, and that provides that. So whether you're driving the ET or the EB410 or the Point .2, we uh, suggest that if you wanna use these new adjustable Ackermans, you start with that A block. Um, now, if you want a little bit more aggressive initial steering or exit steering, you can go to the B or the C. Um, and all of them, as we said before, are going to have less Ackerman than the original spindles. Now, if you're running the truck and you're using the stock, um, the stock uh, hexes, and you're using associated wheels, which a lot of guys do, stadium truck wheels. Um, the only thing that's, the only um, Ackerman plate that's gonna work is gonna be that D Ackerman plate, which is what um, we recommend you run when it comes in the kit with ET4 10.2. Now, if you would like to try some of those other plates to get that less Ackerman feel, you can go to a plus one hex um, on the front of the truck, and that's going, going to give you the ability to use not only the C, but the B Ackerman plates. And then if you want to try that A Ackerman plate like we recommend on the buggy, you can go to a plus two front hex and that's gonna give you that opportunity. Now, if you wanna use short course wheels, um, the short course offset that we recommend on the website, which I'm gonna include a, a page that'll show you all those recommendations um, so you don't have to review this video every time. Um, if you're using short course wheels, you can use A through D. They're all going to fit properly. So basically, um, to sum it all up, for the Truggy, we recommend starting with the D plate um, if you want to, you know, try some of those other options, you can go with a wider hex, but on the buggy, we actually recommend the A plate. So much less Ackerman than what came in the kit. Um, it just gives a better overall steering feel. And we're really excited to give you guys the option to not only raise your Ackerman and lower your Ackerman using the plate with the spindle, but also the actual ability to have the plates, which allows you to change your Ackerman and not have to do it from the, the center of the car, basically with your, um, with your steering settings there, you can actually do it from the outside. Um, the other thing that we're excited to release with that is the 18 degree caster block. So now not only do you have a 15 degree caster block option, but you have an 18 degree caster block option, which is gonna kind of increase that on power steering feel, uh, maybe take a little bit more of that twitchiness away. Um, I'm not sure how much personally I would run this on the buggy, but I could see how on the truck, uh, especially if you're running on outside or you're running on eight scale tracks, you know, you're going to those bigger tracks, the 18 could make it a lot easier to drive. It's going to give the illusion of having more traction as well. Um, so a lot of times, you know, 
you know, companies will sometimes release parts and things. And uh, when you sit down and look at it, you're like, oh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna really be able to tell a difference. And we get it, we totally understand. But with this uh, setup, whether you know it's the caster blocks or the new spindles and the plates, it's gonna be a pretty major difference. It's definitely gonna be one that you can feel on the track and that you can see in your lap times. So we definitely recommend uh, at least giving it a shot. Like I said, I'm gonna include a page that has all the extra information. And uh, we're going to keep bringing out great products for you guys and keeping the ball rolling um, with the success that we had with, at Psycho Nitro and carry that into the next event. So as always, if you guys have any questions or need anything, feel free to hit us up on our social media accounts or hit up any of our pro drivers on their personal accounts or their pages um, and we'll get you your information that you need as quickly as possible. Thank you guys for watching and tune in next time.